Um, the benefits have been greatly like publicized, um, but some of, some of the um, benefits are listed in this slide, such as a reduction in capital expenditure and um, decrease in, in footprints when coming to building facilities. Um, a reduction in the possibility of cross-contamination is really crucial, um, as well as you know, the reduction in non-value added activities such as cleaning validation, and you know, this has led, led to um, a reduction in the use of water, energy and chemicals. So as folks are exploring this technology, what sort of challenges are they running into? Okay, and there, there are a few challenges in respect to how they qualify some of the equipment. Um, there are obviously concerns about extractables. That seems to be the kind of number one hot topic when it comes to these um, technologies. Um, there are also issues around in, um, integrity. So many um, end users are concerned that maybe the tubing may come off or the bag may come, you know. And so there is a lot of integrity kind of fears within the community, as well as the con concerns about patient safeties safety with regards to potential leachables ending up in the drug product. Mm -hmm. So what could be, you know, toxic that could come from that plastic material and end up in that final drug product, that's a big concern. And then some of the other challenges are around, around like maybe particulates. Mm -hmm. So when you've got, you know, different components, you know, are you finding the particles are coming off those components into the drug, pro drug manufacturing process? You know, so, so, so these are some of the concerns that the um, end users tend to raise when trying to adopt single-use technologies. Mm -hmm.